Well, Jamestown's first ever Pride Festival worked to highlight the importance of transgender rights and fairness to those in the LGBTQI plus community over the weekend. WNY News Now's Julia Gress joining us live to talk more about what was discussed. Julia. Justin. With support from the Pride Steering Committee and organizer Sheridan Smith, the event took shape Saturday after a year on hold due to COVID-19. Festivities kicked off with a flag raising at City Hall, where Jamestown Mayor Eddie Sunquist joined those in the transgender community to support their rights. If you are a transgendered individual, a person of the trans community, and you need to change your name, you need to change your gender, you need to change anything about what the government has given you, you need to go through state Supreme Court. And what you face are judges that have no idea what it's like to live your life. What it's like to have to make that a public information about changing a part of you that was assigned at birth or signed by the government. That's why Sunquist says vying for a judicial candidate, Grace Hanlon to the state court is important for the pride community. To have a member of the LGBT community be a judge, the first judge in this history of our district, of the eight counties of Western New York, to be an LGBT judge that knows what that feeling is like, is something we have never seen. Longtime advocate for LGBTQIA plus rights, Helen Walters, was among those in the transgender community who spoke out about the importance of hosting the affair. Pride is our defense. The first thing that the people who want to put us back into the closet do is try to shame us. Every criticism of the LGBTQ community has the phrase shame on you attached to it. You're a sinner, shame on you. It's unnatural, shame on you. You're abusing children, shame on you. Shame is the tool they try to use to push us back into the closet. And the way to fight that shame is to say, hell no, I don't buy that premise. I am proud of who I am. I am proud of who I present myself to be. The group then honored victims of the 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting. Festivities continued throughout the day and into the evening, highlighting the importance of allyship and accepting those who are different. In studio, Julia Gress, WNY News Now.